In this video, we are going to get some first impressions of Singapore. It is my first day here. Let's explore this interesting city together, try some food, see how modern the city really is. And because this is Asia's most expensive country, let's find out how much money I have to spend on a day out exploring the city as a tourist. Join me and let's go. Okay, first things first, we need to get to the city center. I'm currently a bit outside of the city center. And let's see what the public transportation is like here in Singapore. I think there's an MRT station here. I think they call at MRT but it's like a, yeah like a subway slash metro and let's also see how easy it is to use as a foreigner here okay first thing I see there's a security check here but I don't think I need to go through there okay I have to figure out how to get tickets oh where's the ticket machine excuse me how can I buy a ticket here? Ticket, ticket office, eh? Yeah. Ah, there's an yeah, office there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, no machine. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 no machine. You got ticket, ticket office yeah. there. Okay, sounds easy. Okay, thank okay. you. And I don't have machines here, so you have to get it at an actual person. Eh? Hello. Yeah. I want to go to a city hall. How does it work here in Singapore? I need like, a, is there like a one-day pass or? Uh, okay, so you, if you have a bank card or credit card, yeah. you can travel to city hall. So I don't need a ticket to get there? Uh, you can use your bank card or credit card to travel to City Hall. Okay, interesting system here. Uh, she was telling me I can use my credit card to uh, tap it over there at the counters and then I am able to, uh, to travel. Let's see. <laughs> wow, that is so easy then if I can just pay with my credit card basically. So if you want to go up fast, you use the right side. If you want to chill and just stand, you stand on the left side. That seems to be the system right here, which is the same system actually I've seen in many other countries before. And yeah, which side do I have to go now? Oh, actually I have no idea. Let me check. <laughs> so I am here now, Al Junaid, and I want to go to City Hall. So yeah, this was my train then probably. One, two, three, four stations only. Even with the time frames here, so it will take nine minutes to uh, reach the station. That's actually very smart. I've never seen this before anywhere else. But yeah, obviously like the, the metro or the subway, they always need the same time because there's no traffic. So this actually is very smart. So you can see exactly how much time is needed to uh, reach your destination. And yeah, my impression of the station right here, very clean, well organized, very modern. It's a great first impression of the metro here. Okay, this was now like a five minute waiting time only. So they seem to be quite frequently here. And yeah, we can also see the map right here. And we are here at the red dot and then the blue ones are the next ones. So you can always know exactly where you are and which station is next. But also the announcements here are in English. So no problem with that as a foreigner here. Next station, Kaiba. I heard that it's actually not allowed to eat and drink on the train and that there are actually quite big fines if you do so. Probably that's because they want to keep the trains clean and yes, they are really clean. And it seems like that some parts of the route are also underground. So some lines are probably above and some are under the ground. I'm not sure how many lines are above and how many are underground, but this line, for example, is mixed. So yeah, let's find out if I can actually leave the station with just tapping my credit card and then I want to know how much I paid for this ride. Okay, does it work? <laughs> it does work. Wow, this is very easy, but now I don't know how much I paid for it. Oh, I can't see it on my banking app yet, but I will write it down here how much the ride cost me. So first impressions of the public transportation here. Very easy, clean, modern, quick and very easy to use as a foreigner. All right, let's explore this city. Yeah, I am very excited. Singapore should be a big, modern, clean, well-organized city. These are the impressions that I have in my head. Let's see throughout the day, throughout the video, how much of this is actually true. Far in the distance over there, we can see the most famous building in Singapore, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. That is where I'm trying to end the video. So at the end of the day, we're going to make our way through the, the Marina Bay Sands and the, the river or the ocean front there. But first I have another interesting plan in mind. Yeah, you see it here already. There's no chaos on the roads, no honking. It's not really a typical Southeast Asia vibes, you know what I mean? But I like it so far. It's a big uh, change of scenery actually. If you compare it to like the busy streets in like Bangkok or Ho Chi Minh City, Manila, Kuala Lumpur also has some quite modern parts that are not as busy as other countries but uh, still busier than this one right here. 
know, also so far it's absolutely no problem here to get around with English. And there are four languages spoken here actually, four main languages. And that is Malay, Mandarin, Tamil and English. Okay, so what is this thing right here? Is this a robot? Ministry of Finance Singapore. Huh, and what is this thing doing here? Looks a little bit like a, like a police. Like a, like, you know, like with a siren right here. Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he keeps a check if like someone is crossing the road uh, when the signal is not on, right? So this is like a, like a police? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, AI police sort of. Oh, that's interesting. I've yeah. never seen this before. I, I, I've heard about it, but I, <laughs> this is my, my first time seeing it. Oh, yeah. oh very cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Wow, so it is like a police robot right here. That is very interesting. AI police. So I guess uh, yeah, there are several cameras right here and probably a 360 degree camera right here as well. Oh, very interesting. So you need to be careful in Singapore, always do the right things. There are even robots for surveillance. And yeah, Singapore actually is a very, very safe country. I think it has the lowest crime rates in all of Asia. So crime almost doesn't exist here. Probably also because they have robots here and probably a lot of camera surveillance. Speaking of cameras, there's just one right here and there's another one over there. So yeah, they do have a lot of surveillance here. But for me personally, actually, I know a lot of Westerners, especially they don't like if uh, cities are full with cameras. But I actually, I think it's a good thing. It makes me feel safe. Like I know Singapore is a super safe city. I don't have to worry here, even as a solo traveler. Even if you are a female, probably it's absolutely safe here. So all these cameras here and things like the police robot actually makes me feel quite safe here. Oh, this is an interesting vending machine here. I think we can get freshly pressed orange juices here for three Singapore dollar. So how does it work? Four oranges each cup. That sounds like a lot actually. Um, but yeah, I do see fresh oranges here. Oh, I want to try it out. Let's see. I'm actually very thirsty anyway. So we need three Singapore dollar. Actually, you can also always pay with card here in Singapore, I guess. So I think it's uh, almost like a cashless country. Well, the possibility to pay cashless is definitely there. Okay, I got one dollar change. Maybe not, we have my change. But what's more interesting is, how do they make the oranges now? Ah, there's a cup. 36% done already, but where's the magic happening? I want to see it. <laughs> okay, there are some, some wheels are spinning there, or some buttons. And then, so something must be going on at the moment. But we can't really see it, right? But I think it's going to be a yeah, freshly... How do they do it? So they have to peel the oranges first and then squeeze it. So the machine must be able to actually peel the oranges right here. That actually is very interesting. 99% done. There are 600 variety of oranges known, currently known. Oh, that is an interesting fact. So we learned one fun fact today. Oh, and the door opens. And oh, it's even properly uh, closed with a lid. Can I grab inside now to touch it, to get it out? Oh, check it out. No added sugar, 100% orange juice. Okay, how do I drink it now? I'm missing uh, a straw. Ah, here we go. By the way, I also see change. It is down there in the bottom corner. That's where you can get your one dollar, one Singapore dollar change. Actually, it looks very similar to the one Euro coin. Euro in, uh, in Germany or in Europe in general looks actually quite similar. Your straw, how do I get out the straw? Oh, like this. Ah, there are straws. And then I can put it in here. And then we can actually enjoy a freshly pressed orange juice right here at the river with the colorful buildings in the background. That actually looks quite cool. But yeah, the most important thing now, let's give it a taste. How does this orange juice taste here? Wow, it is very good. You really taste the difference between like the orange juices you can buy in bottles in like 7-Eleven with sugar added. And this is really pure, decent, awesome orange flavor. Wow, and for just three dollar here, freshly made by the side of the road, from a little vending stall, that is great. Thumbs up for that. We also notice how clean it is here. I think I haven't seen any trash anywhere in the city yet. 
and there are actually quite a lot of uh, garbage bins around so there's always something where you can throw your stuff away and that really seems to help to uh, yeah, keep the city really really clean I mean look at this it looks really really nice and yeah huge contrast once again compared to many other cities around Southeast Asia so we have bins right here there's another one over there there was one right over there under the trees so you always find some and check it out I feel cheated on now because a few hundred meters later I come across another one of these vending stalls here with orange juices but here it's only two dollar I just paid three dollar for it for the exact same thing and after walking a few hundred meters there's one for two dollar <laughs> I wonder why is that and also do you notice something on the roads here you hardly see any motorbikes here no motorcycles no scooters and that's also very untypical for Asia especially for Southeast Asia I'm actually looking for food upstairs upstairs is food noodles noodles chicken rice chicken rice that's good okay I want to try it turn here and then up okay thank you um yeah I'm in Chinatown now and actually looking for some food where's the, the food food area food yeah ah, <laughs> oh he's very helpful <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> when you finish your food yeah come and see me best shop for Schneider oh but I don't need a suit okay. I don't need a suit yeah thank you very much oh very helpful guy ah and I found the food area let's see what food I can get here in Singapore as my first meal okay the food here seems to be very internationally influenced I see a lot of influences from China a lot of Chinese food a lot of things that uh, look familiar to me when I remember about my time in Hong Kong earlier this year I saw some Thai food as well some Vietnamese food so it seems to be very international here uh, this for example Rojak and Popia that is something you can also get in Malaysia but overall I would say most of the shops here seem to be quite Chinese maybe that's also because I am in Chinatown now that probably is the reason why okay let's get my first meal in Singapore this looks interesting hello are you still open yeah. yes uh, what can you recommend what is the the number one food here number one number two this is the best one here yeah, yeah, yeah. Pork, pork. pork braised pork rice pork, yeah. number one huh? yeah I'm just, for me. no I wanted to know what is the number one food here uh, number one, uh, British pot. That's British the, pot. the best seller here? Yeah, best seller here. Yeah? Yeah, very uh, nice. British pot rice. This one too. Ah, and whole one. pig food. Ah, whole pig food. Pig too. intestines, yeah. spice pork. Rice pork. Dumpling. Oh, okay. British pork rice, sounds okay. good. Okay, one? Okay, one for one. me? Yeah. Okay. Can I film how you cut it? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, I like the smell here already. Very nice, huh? Ah, so this is the pork very right good. here. Up here, oh, that looks very juicy and delicious already. Yeah, oh, nice. Check it out. <laughs> what is this? This one is a beef cake. Uh, bean cake. Ah, bean, bean, bean curd cake. Ah, bean ah curd okay. Yeah, yeah, ah, nice. yeah, it's bean curd, like a tofu, basically, I guess. And some vegetables, of course. Yeah. We want to stay healthy. And then the special sauce over there. Yeah. What okay. is inside the sauce? What is it made this of? This sauce uh, is a. Uh, Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Ah, soy sauce. Okay. Soy sauce. Ah, yeah. Ah, this one. Very typical for Chinese food, right? Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice. This one expensive. So very cheap. Ah. One packet, baby packet, fifty cent. So this is a good soy this sauce. This one very expensive. Okay, okay. Ah, this one the taste nice. And this is a salty taste, right? Yeah, the sauce. Okay. Yeah, usually ah, soy sauce good. adds a salty saltiness to the ah. meal. Okay. Very nice. And then this one? You want? I, I can. I can. No, this one. No, put. no this one. Ah, this one only. Okay. Very nice. That looks very good. Yeah. So I'm not sure what this is. I think this is uh, meat that gets delivered, maybe. Um, and then we can get probably. Let me get a spoon. Maybe chopsticks. No, actually a fork is the best for me. Okay. So one thing that is also different in Singapore compared to other Southeast Asian countries, there's no street food here. Very untypical for Southeast Asia, and the reason is. 
many years ago the government disallowed street food in order to keep the city clean and then all these street food vendors basically moved into these hawker stalls and the hawker stalls is what we're having here and it's basically like a food court and you can find them all around the city and yeah, what are the prices here so you can get most of the meals for around five singapore dollar so singapore is a quite expensive city but the food at least in these hawker stalls is actually quite affordable and yeah this is going Thank to you. be my first meal in singapore my first proper meal i had something else yesterday evening already after my arrival but yeah we have the braised pork right here which looks really really good we have the bean curd the rice of course some greens some vegetables wow i'm really looking forward to try this this is my uh, my lunch now basically and yeah i think this is a very typical singaporean food experience sitting here in a hawker stall basically like a food court okay let's see what the flavor is like I guess it's going to be like a typical soy sauce flavor, which for me is like a typical, I would call it like the Chinese food flavor. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was expecting. Really delicious. And then we have the, the pork part right here. Oh my god. The pork is so soft, it's melting in my mouth basically. You don't need your teeth to, to chew it, it's that soft. Oh, this is really, really good. Oh, I absolutely love the pork right here. So excuse me if this is not a 100% authentic Singapore food experience, more like a Chinese food experience. Let me know in the comments how wrong or right I am with it. But nevertheless, this is really delicious. And let me also mix it all up here with the vegetables to get like a really combination of flavors in my mouth. Oh wow, oh wow, I love this. It reminds me a little bit about the food I had earlier this year in Hong Kong. Maybe you saw some of my Hong Kong videos. The, the flavors of the meal, the yeah, the, the spices, not really spices, but yeah, like the overall flavors are really similar to the cuisine I tried in Hong Kong. Which actually I see on the sign right there, it says Beijing Time Honored Cuisine. So this is probably yeah, Beijing is not really close to Hong Kong, but maybe the food is similar. I'm not really sure about that. Ah, that was really really good, really delicious. The pork was amazing. I'm wondering, is this a Cantonese food or Chinese? No, Beijing. 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 Yeah, Beijing. China food. China. Because the, the taste reminds me about food in Hong Kong. Oh, same, same. Hong Kong, huh? Similar? Yeah, yeah. Same, same. It's ah. from Beijing. Okay, Beijing. It's Beijing style. Ah, okay. Nice. You're from Beijing? My wife, Beijing. Ah, your wife. Uh, uh, I know uh, Xie Xie. Xie Xie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. That was really good. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, if you want to find the same. Uh, stall here actually. Ah, what is the name of this place? Uh, Hawker Center. This one is called Chinatown Hawker Center. Chinatown Hawker Center. Yeah. Okay, and your name, the shop name? Uh, Beijing. Beijing. Ah, that's the name of the shop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank okay, you. thank you. So, if you want to find this uh, exact place here, the Hawker Center in Chinatown, and then the Beijing shop right here. Oh, oh, oh wait. I forgot to pay. <laughs> we were talking about how good the food is. Uh, five dollar? Okay, here we go. Okay, thank you. Oh, almost forgot to pay. Talking about how good the food is and then walking away without payment. <laughs> okay, that was delicious. It was very delicious. Very good. See my Schneider shop. Schneider tailor shop. Ah, but uh, I don't need a suit. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing me. Okay, have a good day. Oh, he was a nice man. Of course, he tried to sell something, but uh, he wasn't like, you know, like aggressively trying to push me into a shop or something. And he was really nice at the beginning, showing me, uh, showing me the food court. And yeah, I would have liked to uh, to support him to buy something from his shop, but yeah, I can't really buy like a suit or a shirt. It's nothing that uh, is fitting in my suitcase. So yeah, the city seems to be quite international. There's a Chinatown area. I know there's also like a little India. I saw on Google Maps an Arab quarter. So you do have many people, different ethnicities from all over the world basically living here in the city. And that also is represented in the cuisine, the food you can get here, the quarters, the areas of the city. And I always like cities with a yeah, big cultural diversity that makes a city way more interesting for me to explore. So that also is a great first impression of Singapore I have here. Very international. Oh, and we do have some nice cars. Porsche, a German car. Wow, I really love the, the high skyscrapers here. 
all around me. Wow, it really feels like a yeah, like a big modern city. Wow, really love this. I'm a huge fan of big cities like this. Oh. <laughs> and for all my Filipino subscribers, there is also a Jollibee here in Singapore. So you can also get your favorite Jollibee burger, Jollibee spaghetti right here in Singapore. Okay, this street is interesting here, the Boogie Street, which is like a street market. And I see ice cream for one dollar here. One ice cream, please. Okay, let's start with a little refreshment, a little dessert after the lunch we just had. And we also have food here. Oh, that looks actually very, very spicy. You see all the chilies here, all the red flakes. I think it's chicken feet actually. I have one dollar right here. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I think I have to eat it really quickly because it's melting so quickly. Oh, it's like a, like a milk flavor, milky flavor. Very good actually. All right, let's see what's inside here. Mm, so we have like a market here. Let me navigate. So like an indoor market here, comparable to yeah, all these street markets you can find, for example, in Bangkok or also in Kuala Lumpur. And wow, this actually looks pretty good here. What is it? Kaya ball. Looks like he's making something fresh right here. Hello, I can order here or order there? Yeah, uh, I would like kaya ball. Oh, you also have a durian here. Four dollar. Yeah. Four pieces for four dollar. Is this one the same? This uh, one? This one is durian. A durian? Yeah. Oh, I smell the durian here. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So this is how they, uh, they make the little balls here. Okay, thank you. And then also whatever this over there is that also looks delicious. He's probably putting an egg around it. So yeah, there's not really street food in Singapore, but I think we can call this maybe yeah, a little bit of street food. Okay, so difficult to eat here in all the middle of the people, but I'm very curious to try it now. It's like a pancake, the dough is similar to a pancake. And then we have the sweet filling in here. Hello. <laughs> Always a bit weird to film in places like this when hundreds of people are around you and looking at you. But I'm used to that already. Mm, so yeah, Kaya, I don't know if you tasted it before. It's actually one of my favorite flavors in Asia. Mm, you can't really see it because it looks the uh, same as the dough. So the color is the same. But wow, this is really, really delicious. It's also still warm, which makes it uh, even better. And then, yeah, we have more food here. You can get burger here, rumly chicken burger, hamburger, fish burger, different types of sausages right here, popcorn chicken. So this actually looks like a Southeast Asian street food place. And wow, this looks very interesting as well. There's smoke coming out here. Hello. Hello. Can I get a drink? Yeah, what drink you want? Ice blended blueberry. Uh, blueberry. Blueberry? Yeah. Why is there the smoke coming out here? Yeah, yeah. Smoke. This is just for marketing reasons? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes it popping they, out. Uh, yeah, they make you come and buy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's why I came to the shop uh, because yeah. of the smoke. Yeah. Is it cool? No. Ah, it's just, just yeah. smoke? Yeah, it's smoke only. Ah. A bit like, you see, it's like, uh, Yeah, yeah. Huh? Uh, oh, actually, it's warm, yeah, not cold. Yeah, right. But yeah, it makes it look special with all yeah, the smoke. Right. Okay, so two dollar? Oh, I have five here. Okay. And this one is with, with real blueberry or? Uh, no, it's no, a, right? uh, yeah, the real. If I took real one, no one want to drink. No one to drink. Oh, I would prefer the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, give it a try, give it a try. Oh, it tastes like a, like a sweet soda. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, yeah, but very refreshing. Like because the children all like this one, this type. The yep. children all like this one. They don't like this one. This one is a grain. Ah. ah, this is great. Yeah, this is a great. So oh. the, the children, if I put this blueberry real one inside, they don't mm. like. So no real fruits inside, which I would actually prefer. But still a refreshing drink right here at the beginning of the street. So I enter it from the other side, but you can also enter from here. But yeah, let's go over to the most famous area of Singapore. Also something that I really like. It is illegal for taxi drivers to tout and overcharge. Fares must be charged according to the taxi meter. That is a problem, a big problem in many other Southeast Asian countries, especially if you're visiting as a tourist that taxi drivers try to overcharge you. And it seems like that's not the case here in Singapore, that they are really strict with that. Actually, let's test it out and get a taxi right here. So the taxis, so far I've seen these uh, blue ones over there. Of course, there's also Grab available here, so you can just book a taxi conveniently with your phone. But let's see if I can hail down a taxi here. And then let's find out if the meter is really used. 
Merlion. Merlion Park. No? No? So this is also interesting. So he said no, no, no. After asking me where I'm going. So he basically rejected me. Oh, we're going to try this one. There's a taxi stand here. So I think if I'm just waiting here. Then the next taxi that will drive by will probably see me and then notice, oh, this guy wants a ride. So let's see if that will work. There's a taxi coming. There's a green light on the taxi. And he is coming. Oh, that sounds okay. Let's see if he will reject me or actually drive me. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Where are going, son? I want to go to the Merlion Park. Uh, Malayan Park. Yeah, Malayan. Okay. 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 Nice ah. view. Nice view, yeah, yes. that's what I'm hoping for. The Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Okay, yes, the famous spot in Singapore. Yes. Okay, you used a meter, right? Yes, yeah, it's ah. a meter, yes. So every taxi in Singapore is all meter. Is yes. all meter. Yes. No exception in Singapore? Uh, we have the, unless you use a booking, you, yeah. we have the fixed fix Ah, prices. okay, okay. You can go inside. So yeah. You, down, you can download the Zip app. Oh, you also have a taxi app? Yeah, uh, ZIG. Zek IG, so not not Grab, a different app. Uh, we have Grab, we have Zig. Ah, uh, so there's a second taxi app here actually. Yes, the second one, the blue one. The ah, Zek IG. Zek IG. This is only for meter taxis. This is for meter. You can choose. Ah, okay, we, okay. We have a fixed price and we have meter price. Ah, you can choose okay, okay. Which one. So, would you recommend if I'm a tourist here, I use Grab or meter taxi? Uh, what What would you recommend is better? Usually, a lot of people use taxi. Taxi is yes. is better. Okay, okay. Yes. We will never tell you how much. Singapore doesn't happen. Doesn't, Always no. the meter. We are not allowed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that yeah. is really good. Now, Malaysia, you just come out, it's 30 ringgit. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Malaysia. Actually, no, I've never used the meter taxi yes. in Malaysia before, so yeah. I don't know how it is in Malaysia. Yeah, no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. Okay, that is a big plus for Singapore. Yeah, so it's, uh, no taxi it's scams here. Fair. Everything, all here. Everything is fair, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. What is the most expensive uh, ride that you ever drove in Singapore? So Around maybe 13 over $40. $40, yes. so that's. Yeah, so $40 can bring me to the other very, side very of Singapore? From Singapore from airport to the other side, very far away. Okay, okay. Yeah, from airport, <laughs> it's around $40. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to travel from the one corner of Singapore to the other it's corner, $40. around $40, 40 Singapore dollar. 40, between 40 to 50 yes. Okay, it. okay. Yeah. How long does it take? It's maybe uh, one hour or depends on the traffic. One hour? Yeah, okay, okay. 40, 40, 45 minutes, yeah. depend on the traffic. So you can travel around the whole country in like one hour. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so we are currently here and we want to go to, to this area here actually, Melion. So yeah, it should be just around the corner just literally. Yeah. Actually, is this the Formula One racetrack yes, uh, here? Yes, yeah, this is uh, the area. This they is the area? In the barricade now. Ah. Know, and the lights. Yes. Oh, night race. Wow, what, what, what date is the race? It's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This week? Uh, September, September 17. September 17. 17 18, 19, ah. yes. I'm not a big fan of Formula One, but I know that there is a race in Singapore yeah, and yeah, they are racing September. in the city, right? Yes, yeah, this is the circuit. Uh, yeah, this is the circuit. Yeah, this is the ah. F1 circuit, the Formula One. Yes. So yeah, they're actually driving the Formula One race on the streets here. You yes. can see all the, the fences yeah. that are already... And the lights. And the lights. It's a night race, yes. Ah, oh, yeah. it's a night race. Yes, the night, Singapore. Ah. Night, yes. So then for one day, the whole city, uh, you can't drive here? You can't drive for one whole week, close. One whole week? One week, close. Oh my yeah. God. What did that be said? Ah, Malaya. there we have it already, yeah. You can see the Malaya, the white. Okay. Yes, in the very beautiful view. Yeah. So then you a taxi driver, when Formula One race, you have no work for one week? Oh, well, we, we don't come inside, just outside. Ah, so there's just yes. just a race and outside yes. you can still drive? Yes. Can't come ah, inside. okay, so yeah. just the, the race track that is... Yes. Ah, okay. So and then I guess many tourists coming, right, for, yes, the, for the race? Oh, hotel fully booked. Oh, yeah. oh good that book. it's not this week when yeah. I'm here, yeah. <laughs> because this then I... Mr. Uh, Fullerton Hotel, we can see the race. Very expensive. <laughs> ah, yes, so then all the hotels along the racetrack, yes. very oh, high prices. Very high price. Oh, I yes. can imagine, yeah, yeah. What is the price now? It's uh, 560. 560? Oh, that's yes. very affordable. Uh, very reasonable price. Reasonable price, yeah. Oh, my other country, $20. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Singapore. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Singapore is also very expensive, but at least yes. they use the meter. At yes, least it's a fair price. Is fair. Yes. Yeah. yeah just move a bit. Expensive country, but yeah. a fair country. You need the receipt or anything? 
I don't need a receipt, that's okay. Oh, even the receipt is offered in the tech seat. I've yeah, never seen that before, I think. So, yes. Very official, very yes. fair, everything here. Yes. Right. Okay, I have $7 right okay. here. That's okay. So, okay, so thank that's okay. You. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yes, thank and, you, you too. Enjoy your stay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was a very pleasant taxi experience here in Singapore. Okay, guys, are you ready for the most famous building in Singapore? One of the most famous buildings in Asia and probably also in the whole world. Here we go, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel the iconic building of Singapore and yeah there's a hotel there's a rooftop pool up there there's a sky bar up there and then we have yeah the bay right here which looks pretty nice a sunny hot day today oh what's going on there what is this oh, it looks like a huge drone oh let's investigate what is what is flying there it looks like a huge drone but it looks actually way too big to be a drone maybe another surveillance camera <laughs> and yeah i think we can just follow the path right here also looks super clean around here you have the skyscrapers in the background wow just a really cool atmosphere here nobody here tries to scam tourists i mean this is the most touristy area of the town and i've been to countries before where you as a tourist get approached often People trying to sell you stuff, to scam you, and there's just nothing like that here. And yeah, we do have a lot of tourists here. It's pretty busy here. Actually not as busy as I would have expected, to be honest. I mean, you can still uh, walk around pretty, pretty normal here, not being squeezed in and all the tourists. And in case I recognize it correctly, I think there are many Chinese tourists here, actually. And yeah, this is the Merlion. Water coming out of the mouth. And then from over there is yeah the most famous picture spot in Singapore. So let's see if we can uh, get the, the famous shot as well. Yeah, if you look all around social media, pictures from Singapore, you always see one specific photo spot and that is the one right here. This spot. So you have the Merlion in the picture and then the Marina Bay Sands Hotel over there. This is the famous Singapore shot. Everyone tries to get the perfect picture here. Ah, and the sun is boiling. It is so hot here today, let me tell you that. Ah, a beautiful place. I always like to be at yeah, these famous places that you've only seen on social media or TV before. And then standing here in real life by yourself, that is always a special moment for me. But yeah, the whole bay here looks very, very picturesque really beautiful cool place and then yeah with all the huge skyscrapers of the city center of singapore over there on the background and yeah whenever i am at these like famous places or super beautiful places i always uh, try to appreciate the moments i just spend some minutes there without the camera in my hands just enjoying the moment living in the moment you know that's always very important if you have these places don't spend your whole time here just taking pictures or videos. I mean, obviously I'm doing that a lot as well, but I also try always to have some time without the camera or my phone in the hand. And check it out, they even have Ramly Burger here in Singapore. So even here in Singapore, if you're from Malaysia, and you can't spend the day without your favorite burger, sweet food burger, you can also get it here. Yes, they do keep the city clean everywhere. I mean, look around. I think I haven't seen a single piece of trash so far in the city. Okay, so I'm now on the opposite side. Over there is the Merlin. Here we have the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And yeah, to be honest, I lost counting how much money I spent today. I will have it listed all below here. So that is the amount of money you can expect on a regular first impressions tourist day here in Singapore. And yeah, I'm having awesome first impressions here. I'm happy to be here. I will stay here for a few more days so more videos from Singapore are about to come. Feel free to subscribe to the channel to follow the journey. And if you haven't seen my luxury bus ride from Kuala Lumpur to get here, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.